Hey everybody, welcome back to Viper's Garage. Uh, my name's Viper. I'm the good friend. <laughs> I come all the way out from the East Coast to the Arkansas place. Man, I played a lot of video games with him. Now I told him I was gonna help him work on truck when I got here. I, well, we did it. We did his transmission. Sorry, y'all didn't get to see that. We, but we got a tail end. We still got to do on it, the tail end of it. But it's all good. Now we're working on this nice 2014. 2500 6.4 liter heavy we're doing a camshaft rods and lifters putting them all in there new we already started taking off the, the all the what do you call it the big stuff we the took intake the, valve, yeah the intake, intake the we took out the radiator this may all. be kind of imit uh uh how do you call um uh, not imitating but uh intimidating to some of you that's never done it if you're not mechanically inclined i wouldn't suggest you do this but you got to take the intake well, you want to be cheaper do it yeah but uh you want to take the intake off um i'll show you you don't really have to do all this if you're not doing what we're going to do but we had to take the radiator and everything out uh we got the intake right here there's 10 bolts uh you got one uh, you got on this side this side, it's uh, I think a five, five, five sixteenths. You take all your intake bolts out. This is how many it's going to be in there. Uh, this is what you're going to have to take out first before you can remove this. Um, you don't really have to take this part off, but I do it anyway just to protect it. Uh, that pipe that I just showed you goes right here, but uh. No, we're gonna do uh try to do uh if we can a full in-depth uh, uh video of this but uh like i said i'm just working with my phone here so it's gonna be i ain't gonna be editing this is gonna be as raw as it's gonna get so um there's gonna be part one part two part three to this maybe if i can combine it all i'll do it but uh this is gonna be what we're having to do here is replacing the camshaft, lifters, push rods, everything, um, head bolts. Uh, because this is have to do with the infamous uh, Hemi tick. Now, uh, y'all may be freaking out and thinking, well, mine's ticking. Well, uh, if you have to do your homework on it because... There's every, other videos to help that. Bottom. There's Yeah, there's other videos. I would, I would post it in the uh, description. I'll try to see if I can find them and post it in the description. But if you do not have the problem that my my father's having, you do you do not need to replace your camshaft. It could be other problems. Uh, what this truck is doing, it's misfiring really really bad and running rough. I mean really bad. Uh, so um, we know what it is. We've done replaced every sensor we know of. What happens with these uh, Pimmies is they got this uh, module on there that kicks it from V8 to the four. And yeah. that's not good on this engine because not when, you're pulling. when you're pulling like a, I pulls that big gooseneck trailer. Okay. My dad is in lawn service, so when he's pulling it, he don't need the truck to kick, keep going back from four to eight. He needs the engine, all the horses he can get. So, being Dodge was stupid, they should have never put that on this type of engine. But they did it, and I think there's a lawsuit going on about that. I don't know. I'm not getting into, uh, into that in this video, or any video. But, um, yeah, all them sensors that's up under. Um, you see that sensor right there that's got the red plug? That's the one right there you're going to have to replace if, if it goes bad. And let me tell you this. Pull them out. They break. So, uh. My dad had to go like get like an anchor screw or something to put in there and screw it down and it out. But uh, I'm not suggesting all of you do that um, because you could eventually hurt your vehicle if you don't do it right. Anyway, um, we're going to get to work on this. As you see, my friend, he's ahead of me. Oh, I'm just trying to get these bolts out. <laughs> Be back with uh, another. Uh, be back here after a while, showing you what we got done so far. Uh, show you the old camshaft and the lifters and everything. 
Uh, we've been trying to find videos on YouTube of this, and there's not any. Is there, it, there's no teardowns. There's no really teardowns no really build or whatever. So I'm hoping this to help anybody out there that has this problem. Um, just uh, stay tuned. Oh, oh, oh.